You said you can feel the grass there. Yeah, I can feel my feet on the grass. Mm, nice. What else do you see as you look around in this space? I think it's big trees. Mm -hmm, big trees. Kind of dark. Mm -hmm. I think I'm in the forest. Mm -hmm. Just take some nice long breath into the body and relax. So you're in the forest there. What else do you see as you look around past the trees? Is it day or night? Night. Night. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're alone or are there others with you? I feel alone, but now you say that I feel a lot presence. Mm -hmm. There's a presence there. I can see them now. Mm -hmm. You can or cannot? I can't, but I feel. Wonderful. Look down at the ground and tell me if you can see your feet. Yes. Describe them to me. Bare feet. Bare feet. Are they a woman? Mm -hmm. You feel like a woman. Do you feel young or old? I feel pain in my body. Mm -hmm. We're going to find out what that is. Do you feel young or old? Trust what comes to mind. What are you wearing as you look down at your body? What do you see there? Like a long dress, dark. Mm -hmm. Just dark, dark blue t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Dark blue. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything around your waist? Mm. There's some kind of goldish. I don't know the word. Mm -hmm. Like a little cord that goes around. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it's golden. Mm -hmm. Very nice. What about on your upper body? You said you were wearing a blue dress. <sighs> you it's Go ahead. Just, just blue and simple. Mm -hmm. Scan into your hands and arms. Are you holding anything? You can look at your arms and see them. Are they holding anything? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. What about on your head? Are you wearing anything on your neck or on your head? I think a hood. Mm -hmm. A hood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a hag, but bright in my hand, mm -hmm. like round. Do you have something round in your hand? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and bright. And bright, wonderful. Hold it up in front of your eyes and look at it. What is it? It looks like an eye. Like an eye? Mm -hmm. What do you use this for? Magic. Mm -hmm. Magic? Mm -hmm. What does it do? What comes to mind? What do you use this eye for? Divine. Mm -hmm. oh, good. It's all the vision. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Holding the light. Yeah. And what do you seem to be doing there in the forest? <sighs> Connecting. Mm -hmm. I want you to feel into that connection. And it's getting stronger as you open your energy to it. And feel the energy there. What else is revealing itself to you now? What do you feel it's in? The energy of the old place. Mm -hmm. Describe it to me. I feel the tree are part of the council. Mm -hmm. The surrounding. Holding the space. So the trees are holding space. Mm -hmm. I bet it feels nice there. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want you to now stand in front of the place that you live in that lifetime. The place that you eat and sleep. Stand in front of the place that you live and describe it to me. What do you see? I feel it's like tent, like like in the nature. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? It's like a community in the nature, mm -hmm. a camp, but there is everything. Yeah, so there's others living there too? Yeah. Wonderful. I can feel children running. Mm. It's, it's beautiful energy. Mm -hmm. I feel like everything is flowing. Wonderful. I want you to go inside of the place that you live and tell me what it looks like inside. Go inside of the place and be there now. What does it look like? Like a temple. Mm, a temple. Describe it to me. It's quite dark. Mm -hmm. With crystal as light and very comfortable and uh, the energy. 
Mm -hmm. Energy is nice. Really good. I want you to now see yourself eating a meal there. See what? See yourself eating a meal now. In a meal? Eating food. Oh, eating. Mm -hmm. See yourself eating, eating food with your community there. And tell me what you see. I see food. Mm -hmm. What kind of food? Fru fruit. Mm -hmm. Different food. And what's happening around you? feel happy mm -hmm. it's I can't really see face so I, I can just feel mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I, I feel people and they're eating but not like light um, not heavy food mm -hmm. it's feel just Not the same as mm -hmm. in France. I don't know how to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not heavy. Mm -hmm. It's light and simple food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it feels really nice there with everybody. I can't feel my body anymore. It's like, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's part of the process. But mm -hmm. My body is kind of paralyzed. Mm -hmm. It's part of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just that deep feeling of being relaxed. And just allow yourself to give into it. I want you to see what it is you do with most of your time. What you do with your days. See yourself doing it now. Swimming. Mm -hmm. Swimming. Meditating, connecting with a tree. Mm -hmm. And with other, mm -hmm. we are in a circle. Mm -hmm. It's feel powerful and we are all connected. Mm. Tell me more about it. It's feel that we just sit and communicate I feel it's remind me Avatar the movie when they're connected to the Mother Earth yeah. I have this image coming mm -hmm. like we feel connected to Mother Earth mm -hmm. and all together wonderful like, go ahead. Like we don't speak. Mm -hmm. We're just present with the energies and the earth and each other. Yes. Mm, wonderful. I want you to now close the scene, close it, move in that lifetime to an important scene that has information for you. We're moving to an important scene in that life. Be there now and tell me what you see. Where are you? What do you see there? Light. I don't... Mm -hmm. Light. What kind of light? 
around me and the people I like. Hmm. Describe them to me. What do they look like? I see an old, old man shining light with white beard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a man of light with his white beard. What else do you see? There is other people, mm -hmm. light being. Mm -hmm. And what are they doing there? What's happening? There is a light in the center, very, very bright. They're looking at it. Mm -hmm. and what are you doing? Looking at it. Mm -hmm. Why is it that everyone's looking at this light? What's happening? Describe it to me. Tell me what's happening as it happens. You said you saw a man with light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? Seems to be something in the middle of the light. Mm -hmm. Something moving. Mm -hmm. They look like they observe something. Mm -hmm. I see some green mm -hmm. and blue. Connect with that energy and tell me what you learn as you telepathically connect this light. What's happening? Are there many of you there? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you're all there with the light? Yes. Mm -hmm. Look down at your own body. Describe it to me. It's light. Mm -hmm. Just white. Mm -hmm. and beautiful. Well, what happens next? Why are you looking at this light? Something we must learn from it. Mm -hmm. What do you learn from the light? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you still see the man with the white beard? Yes. Well, since you're in your light body, you can connect with him telepathically and he can share information with you. Ask him what this white light is for. What are you learning? To recharge. Mm -hmm. To recharge. Mm -hmm. Why do you need to recharge? After a lifetime, 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand now. Very good. Well, now I want to move forward until after you've been recharged. Let's move forward until after you've been charged. And tell me what's happening. <sighs> what do you see now? What's happening? I think my body is way lighter. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Describe it. I, I think it's light being. Mm -hmm, light being. What are they doing? I feel just enjoying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just enjoying. Just being light and. Mm -hmm. mm, good. I'd like to close this scene now and move forward to another important scene that has information for you. Be there now and tell me what you see. What's happening? Nothing yet. Mm -hmm. We're moving forward to an important scene in that life. The word Avalon keeps coming up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you see around you? What's happening there? I can't feel my leg. Mm -hmm. I see water. Mm -hmm, you see water. And I feel like paralyzed until my knees. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm in the water. I, yes, I'm in, in the water. You're in the water, wonderful. Describe it to me, what's around you? kind of the same it's I don't remember the word in English it's not cloud like it's like a mist or a fog mist yeah fog and mist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you're in the mist and what else is happening you said you're in the water why are you in the water? We need to. Why do you need to? We have to live. Mm -hmm. And how does the water help? The element of the water. Mm -hmm. It heals you? Yeah. Mm, that's nice. Enjoy the healing of the water. Are there others with you or are you alone? There's others. Mm -hmm. And what are they doing? Same. Mm -hmm. It's feel that we need to live. Tell me more about that. 
It's not safe anymore. So you're going to have to go? Yes. Why isn't it safe anymore? The energy is not safe anymore. What's happening to make it unsafe? We can't hold the light anymore. Why can't you hold the light anymore? So much darkness. Mm -hmm. I see fire. Mm -hmm. Describe it to me, what kind of fire? What it's, it? it's feel like it's destroyed what we have built. Mm -hmm. This safe temple has been destroyed. Mm -hmm. Who's de who's destroying it? Human. Mm -hmm. They don't understand. Mm -hmm. They don't understand what they're doing. Yeah. I imagine it's frustrating. No. It's sad. Yeah. We are grieving. Yeah. Grieving. We can't do anything anymore. Yeah. What changed that now the humans are being destructive? It's another time. Mm -hmm. We were connected to Mother Earth, to the trees, to the water. We were one. It's not anymore. Yeah. Times are changing. Yes. What and that's need to happen. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah. Why does it need to happen? We have done everything we could. We have learned what we needed to learn. Our time has passed. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, I feel it's in the body more. Mm -hmm. We need to learn through suffering and it's hard. Mm -hmm. But it has to be to come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we we have become too light, mm -hmm. not enough in our in the body. Mm -hmm. We need to go back to the beginning to learn to be in the body. Yeah. What happens next? <sighs> we are living peacefully mm. now to the light. Mm -hmm. So you're going into the light now? Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's not death. Mm -hmm. We keep doing what we need, what we're doing, but from another place. Mm -hmm. And take me with you and tell me what's happening as it happens. 
describe it all to me. Are we going through the water? You're going through the water? Yeah. How does that process work? Tell me how it happens. I feel like the body had to emerge slowly. Mm -hmm. That's why I couldn't feel my legs. Mm -hmm. But now we're going Hard to describe. Mm -hmm. We're all going in the same time, mm -hmm. kind of going through the wave. Or... Mm -hmm. So you're lowering your body into the water more and more. Yeah. And everyone's doing this together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to do this? Light. Mm -hmm. Light. Mm -hmm. and tell me what happens after you've completely gone under the water. What happens? We are in a new place. Mm -hmm. Describe it to me. It's hard to describe. It's a lot of light again. What kind of light? We feel safe and we are I can't feel my arm now. You can't feel your arm? Mm -hmm. Well what does it look like there as you look around? What does it feel like? Are the others there with you as well? Yes. We are transitioning. They don't look human. And describe yourself. How do you feel? I can't feel my arm again. Mm -hmm. Well, let's learn a little bit more. Let's close this scene. Close this scene and move forward in that lifetime to another important event. Be there now and tell me what you see. What's happening? Um, you man again, mm -hmm. woman. I see with children, mm -hmm. like teaching. 
and describe it to me. Feel, touch, telepathy and, and channeling and connecting to the source. Mm -hmm. All this kind of tool. Mm -hmm. To kids, I feel it's mm -hmm. uh, it's girls. Mm -hmm. What kind of place are you at? Look around at the environment and describe it to me. It's a temple surrounded by water. Mm -hmm. The temple surrounded by water. What does the temple look like? It's beautiful. Kind of like a antique Roman. Mm -hmm. Like white stone. With a lot of light. Mm -hmm. And I see water all around. Mm -hmm. And nature. It's very peaceful. Light. Mm -hmm. So you're teaching the children in this temple? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see the woman walking around. Mm -hmm. We are all in blue. You're all in blue. Mm -hmm. Describe what you're wearing. It's a blue skirt, mm -hmm. a blue dress with large. Um, his, uh, you know, on the, around the arms, mm -hmm. leaves, leaves. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Very soft mm -hmm. and beautiful. Yeah. We're all bare feet. Mm -hmm. Do you have a name for this temple? The only thing comes is Avanan. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so you're teaching the children how to use their skills, use their telepathic skills? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, let's learn some more. Let's close this scene and move forward in that life to another scene that has information. Be there now and tell me what you see. I feel I host a circle of women. You describe to me what's happening there in the circle of women. It's how we communicate and we discuss, I would say, mm -hmm. and see how can we serve best. Mm -hmm. It's very flowing telepathically. Mm -hmm. Everyone sharing what what is important that one needs to say to be said mm -hmm. and being heard. I feel there is something with 
the outside world. Mm -hmm. What's happening in the outside world? I think we feel what's what is coming. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? There is men outside the druids, I think, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we can communicate, and they are the ones who witness and are emerge in it. Mm -hmm. And what are the druids communicating to you? Again, that our past is ending, mm -hmm. our, our time is ending. Mm -hmm. They do their best, but they seem that there is a disconnection now. Mm -hmm. And they can't hold it anymore. Mm -hmm. They ask for our help. And what will you do? That's why we are in a circle. Mm -hmm. We are putting our energies together to send light and love. Tell me about that process. How do you do that? by intention. Mm -hmm. We have our third eye is open. That's why we are we have our symbol on the forehead. Describe the symbol to me. The moon um the crescent moon mm -hmm. holding the third high third eye holding the So it's direct, it helps focus and direct. And so you sit together and focus your third eye somehow? How do you do that? Yeah, from the divine, we are all connected to the divine. Mm -hmm. And then through our third eye, we send the light through the, in the middle, this light bulb. Mm -hmm which represent Earth. And the, the dread are able to receive. Mm -hmm. To channel, but not the human. Mm. Why not the human? They're close. Mm. And it's okay. Mm -hmm. It has to be. Yeah. If you don't consider yourself human, what do you consider yourself? Do you have a name that you call yourselves? Or are you just simply the people of Avalon? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
And let's close this scene and move forward in that lifetime to another scene that has information. Be there now and tell me what you see. Past nation. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? Describe it. It's again, it's around the fire. Mm -hmm. What's happening around the fire? Praying. Mm -hmm. What are you praying for? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what else? What are you praying for Earth for? What's happening there? Again, nothing happened yet, but we feel something is coming. Mm -hmm. We feel the disconnection coming. Mm -hmm. So we hold. But it's man. Mm -hmm. And so you hold, you hold this energy in prayer for the world as you feel this separation from spirit happening? Yes. Mm -hmm. We ask Mother Earth what to do. And what does she say? Just be. Mm -hmm. Just be. And stay connected as much and as long as we can to her. So we will never completely lose this connection. Mm -hmm. Some of us has to maintain the connection so it's not lost. Yeah. Let's learn some more. Let's close the scene and move forward in that lifetime to another significant event. Be there now and tell me what you see. What's happening? I feel the pain. Of my people. Mm -hmm. What's happening? That they're in so much pain. What we have predicted is happening. Mm -hmm. We cannot hold anymore. Mm -hmm. What's happening? I'm 
on uh, in a valley on top mm -hmm. and i see a wall yeah. my people are dying yeah. and i'm going to die what do you call your people Native. Mm -hmm. We have been here since always. Mm -hmm. And we knew there will be a disconnect time. Yeah. How did you know this? Mother Earth, mm -hmm. we are so connected to her, we can feel her suffering. She is a spirit. It's also our guidance because we are able to listen. Yeah. And we know it's a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, but we also know it has to come. And it's gonna go at some point. No. And it's okay. It doesn't hurt that much. Because it's a cycle. Mm -hmm. And I know I will be back. Mm -hmm. when the time would be right. Yeah. Let's close the scene and drift away from that life. You're drifting away from that life now. Now I'd like the consciousness of Adeline to return to the body. May I speak with Adeline subconscious, please? Yes. Wonderful. Let's take a moment to strengthen the connection and clear the energy. Do I have permission to ask you questions? Yes. Wonderful. So the lifetimes that you showed first had to do with Avalon. Why did you show this to her? She needs to know because she needs to lead. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. She has the knowledge. She's not the well. Mm -hmm. Is it time to bring that knowledge back? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you begin to activate it now? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are you doing to activate it? I feel something in the brain. Mm -hmm. Like an un unlocking. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. What kind of knowledge are you opening for her? To 
to connect deeply to the divine source and to Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Through this connection, she can tap to the knowledge of the ancient the ancestors, mm -hmm. the trees. Mm -hmm. What are the next steps for her to take to be a leader, to step into her leadership? Allow it. Allow it. Mm -hmm. Is there some way that she's blocking it? Or afraid of it? Yeah, she's scared. Mm -hmm. Where does that fear come from? Past life. Mm -hmm. What happened in that past life? You can show it to her. Because she had to be there. Mm -hmm. At this time, at the end of the time. So she had to lead people. Mm -hmm. To the essence of one. To the essence of one? Yes. Mm -hmm. And she's come to do that again? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's scared. Mm -hmm. What is she scared of? That she mm -hmm. she can do it. Mm -hmm. And from your perspective, what do you think about her and her ability? She has the ability to do it. Mm -hmm. What qualities make her a good leader? Her compassion. Mm -hmm. Her compassion. Her love for people and all being. Her inner strength and courage. Those are great qualities for a leader to have. I'm wondering if we can clear this fear of her leadership today. Yes. Wonderful. Can you begin doing that work now and tell me what you're doing? And tap into her third eye. Mm -hmm. Open it. And what will this do for her? Strength her vision and connection so she will feel mm -hmm. more powerful. What was this eye that she was holding? When she first came into the scene, she had something in her hand. What was it? Knowledge. Mm -hmm. Does she still have access to that, uh, that energy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's open that, that connection to that knowledge again. Mm -hmm. That's a sad eye. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And the Kuan Chakra. Mm -hmm. 
I, sh I strengthen. Mm -hmm. I have pineal gland. Mm -hmm. Clear it. Wonderful. Why was everyone dressed in blue in Avalon? The blue is the color of the throat chakra, expressing our truth through our third eye. Mm -hmm. The blue is also the element of the water, which is divine feminine. The flow of the energy. Mm -hmm. So you all wore this color, these colors, to honor the divine feminine in the water, in truth. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then why did you show her the lifetime as the First Nation person? Because that's what she's been brought here. She needs to reconnect. Mm -hmm. It's another leadership. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. That's why she blocked the leadership. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But she's surrounded now with her allies, the mm -hmm. old growth. Mm -hmm. And she will be able to reconnect, reconnect now mm -hmm. with the native. Mm -hmm. Are there any steps she should take to reconnect with the native people? Shamanism, mm -hmm. her drum, perfect. Mm -hmm. She's drawn to it already. Yeah, so she'll do what she needs to do. Mm -hmm. She needs to trust. Mm -hmm. What keeps her from being in full trust? fear. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of fear come from past life. Mm -hmm. She already had cleared a lot. But her soul and will is stronger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see what else we can clear from this body. Can you do a scan? from head to toe, all of her bodies, physical, mental, emotional, and energetic. And tell me what you're doing as you do it. Clearing the energy. Mm -hmm. Where at? A few on the forehead. Mm -hmm. Since we're here at the forehead, I want to ask about the crescent moon of the people of Avalon. How did this first come into use? Why did they use it? Why did they have it then? It's strengthening their third eye. Mm -hmm. I can feel it now. Mm -hmm. It's under the third eye, third eye. so it's hold it, mm -hmm. hold energy and help focus on it and open it. Mm -hmm. Make it more powerful. Wonderful. The moon, energy of the moon too. Mm -hmm. and tell me what else you're doing as you scan her body. And heal it. I'd like to also invite in Archangel Raphael 
Archangel Michael, and any other beings of light that wish to support and healing and transforming this body and energy. You're all welcome to begin doing your work now. And tell me what else is happening. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? I clear the energy. Mm -hmm. I clear it for the energy to flow. Yeah, she said that she's had some trouble speaking her truth at times. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why is that? It was blocked. Why is that? That's what she needed to learn in this life. From a past life experience. Mm -hmm. She had to unlock it in this life. Mm -hmm. Is it time to unlock it now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and begin the unlocking process. I can understand the feeling because I'm also working through the unlocking of my throat. Mm. Can you continue working here while you scan the rest of the body? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to invite any repairs in her template and overlay any quantum upgrades to any of her energy structures and bringing online anything that is ready to be brought online, including other chakras and the transducers. And tell me what else is happening in the scan. I feel the far, the upper arm. Mm -hmm. What's happening here? She need to use it. She need to create. It's coming stronger because she's Expanding and unlocking all of her gift. Mm -hmm. What is it that you want her to create? Expanding. Mm -hmm. She can express a lot through art. Mm -hmm. And energy healing. Mm -hmm. So energy healing is a part of our life path? Yes. Mm -hmm. What all can she do to accelerate her work as an energy worker? Keep doing the Reiki more and more, practice on herself too. Mm -hmm. and others develop this energy mm -hmm. the access bar are a very good tool for her mm -hmm. she just tapped on it yesterday mm -hmm. very very powerful mm -hmm. the sound healing is really good for her mm -hmm. she's very receptive mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it's appropriate to attune her to higher levels of spiritually healing energy, source energy at this time, as well as reach into her Akashic records to download knowledge and wisdom from other lifetimes that she can use for healing now. Yes. Wonderful. Really good. What else is happening as you do the scan? 
How sacral chakra warm. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? Unlocking the block. There was a huge block. Mm -hmm. What caused the block? Fear. Fear of what? Her own power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how can she think about her power in a way that's not scary? Love. Hmm. Tell me more about that. Love. Love herself and the way she loves others. Mm -hmm. okay. And she will be scared and open up mm -hmm. and trust. Mm -hmm. Very good. Continue working there as you look at the other places in the body. What else shows up? In the warm, it's also the dance. Mm -hmm. Her creativity. Everything is opening now. Mm -hmm. It's awakening. She's tapping in her inner energy force. Beautiful. What else is happening in her body as you scan? Her legs. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? I pull the energy mm -hmm. more and more to the earth, mm -hmm. down to her feet. Mm -hmm. So it can circulate. Wonderful. Down and now up. Four arms. Mm -hmm. Through all the chakra. Mm -hmm. Fourth front chakra and up. Mm -hmm. I know she has some questions about her spine health and her back. Yes. What's going on there? Why is there so much issues? It seems to be from the top of the spine all the way down. There was block of energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Behind her throat, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is the throat chakra as well, and a very high energy center, mm -hmm. was blocked until now. Mm -hmm. So you're opening that energy now and helping her for spine? Yeah. Very really good. Bring in a nice, strong stream of source energy down that spine to clear it out. Clear it out, straighten it out, and remove any of the inflammation there, any of the tenseness. And clean it out. What about her digestive system? She's adjusting to her new self. Mm -hmm. So as her body. Mm -hmm. Can we help her in her digestive system? So it'll be easier to process? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about this gluten intolerance? Why does she have this? Gluten and lactose.
because it wasn't good for her body, for her energy. Mm -hmm. The lactose, she never actually ate it, mm -hmm. but the gluten, when she started mm -hmm. to eat it, mm -hmm. it had to stop. Yeah. It needs to be lighter mm -hmm. to flow better. Yeah. Very good. It's a resistance she has. Mm -hmm the digestive system and the sacral mm -hmm. solar plexus mm -hmm. to bring in the power of the sun here beautiful radiant sun power sun energy into the solar plexus region harmonize strengthen and balance here what about her skin she said she's had acne a lot of her life and wants to know why it's there. That was her way not to be touched. Mm -hmm. Why was that happening? Because she didn't let, she didn't know her boundaries. Mm. what was good for her mm -hmm. she just did what was good for others yeah well, she's she's ready to step into her strength now yeah and also she didn't allow she thought she didn't deserve mm -hmm. to be touched mm. in a gentle way yeah. Yeah, she said she also put a cage around her heart, guarding her heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to open her heart today and feel ready for love, ready to be touched and cared for. Yeah, she is. Beautiful. Can you work with her skin now and with her heart to open it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you doing to her skin? It's hard to explain. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like? Smoothing and putting in energy from from her forehead down her face, like an energetic touch. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Can you continue working here and all over her whole body while I ask some other questions? Yeah. Wonderful. So she's wanting to create experiences for people to like a conscious tourism. Is this a good path for her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me how she can get the most out of this path. What can she do? Keep learning to connect mm -hmm. with herself with the element and she soon will be ready to bring people and to help them connect. Mm -hmm. Very good. So as she works on herself, she's building herself up to be able to hold space for others? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about with local 
people in the area? Are there people that she would have fun and success working with? Jess, mm -hmm. Nadia, Cody. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, what can she do with them? What are some ideas of where she can take this? Great sacred space. Mm -hmm. With the nature, mm -hmm. bring people to the nature, mm -hmm. to the tree. Mm -hmm. That's what she already started to do. Yeah. Is this Kundalini dance facilitator training good for her? Yes. Mm, wonderful. She dances. Mm -hmm. She wanted to know if she's a star seed. Has she lived on other planets before? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you show her in one of those lifetimes where she was living on another planet? Can you tell me what you're showing her? What can is serious. Mm -hmm. Serious? Mm -hmm. What kind of life did she have there? Beautiful. Mm-hmm. And why did she decide to come to Earth? She feels she needed to help. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful and easy. But Earth is now mm -hmm. experiencing. Mm -hmm. Which is amazing. And it's for the whole system, the whole universe. She wanted to be part of it. Mm -hmm. She wanted to come and be part of the game here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she said she has this feeling that the, um, that the ancient ones wanted to communicate with her. What do the ancient ones want to share with her today? They're welcome to show up and share. That she's supported in what she's doing. They hold space for her. Mm -hmm. And when she will be ready, they will be able to transmit their knowledge. Mm -hmm. Is she ready now? Almost. Almost. What, she, does she, mm -hmm, what does she need to do? What she's doing. Yeah, she's doing it. Yes. Mm, wonderful. And what we're doing now. Yeah, I think today is going to be a, a good day to support that growth. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and let the fear behind. Yeah, just let it go. She doesn't need it anymore. No, she's not alone anymore. No. She needs to know that. Yeah. Can you, show, mm -hmm. can you show her some images of her guides and all the support that she has? What are you showing her? The trees. Mm -hmm. The eagle. 
She has a lot of animal spirit around her. Mm -hmm. Her grandfather. Mm -hmm. Let's connect with uh, her grandfather. I know that she had some questions about him. Does he have any messages for her? Yeah. What does he share? He's happy she, she made it. He was here for her this whole time. She was suffering. She left her just before. Mm -hmm. He can help. <laughs> and how can she work with him more consciously? By calling him more and more. Mm -hmm. In her energy healing, but also in her daily practice. Mm -hmm. She can call to him to help. Yes, he's willing to help. Mm -hmm. He was waiting for it too. Yeah. Well, they have a special connection. Yeah. Why is their connection so special? They knew each other for a long time. Mm -hmm. He had to leave hers so he could help. Yeah. And it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, now he can be with her everywhere she goes. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is her connection to Israel? She had a life over there too. Mm -hmm. What was her life like there? Jesus. Mm -hmm. What was her connection with Jesus? You can show her images of this. She was close mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. Should she return to Israel at any time? Yes. Mm -hmm. Should she organize a group to go there? And is she ready for it? Yes. Mm -hmm. She will mm -hmm. soon. She needs to reconnect with this place. Now her suffering has gone. Mm -hmm. She was bring. She was bring there, brought there. Mm -hmm. While she was at her highest suffering, mm -hmm. and was completely lost, mm -hmm. so she could come back. Mm -hmm. It yeah. helped her at this time. And now she will return as a light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a huge energetic place. Mm -hmm. So the work needs to be done there too. Mm -hmm. Especially with what's happening. Yeah, what is happening over there? And what, what do you all see? Repression. Mm -hmm. Because the uprising, the fear, because it's a very high energetic place. Yeah. The fear of also more intense. Mm -hmm. That's why it's everything is more intense there. So by bringing people there, we bring light and help. It's just the time it's going to pass. Mm -hmm but we need to send light and love. Mm -hmm. Can we work today to send a nice big wave of light and love out to Israel in the Middle East? Yes. Hmm. 
Mamuatea takamoku kuelasta la teti shlam de vida o kupu en vida shlatela ka. Mamuata shleti apula lekirini kutiki la lota o kuya tashra. Nien la muopupu a kams la tashra kienten de kundu kum koala penitiva. Muakia tanita. She's wondering if it's if Egypt is a place that she should travel to in this life. Yes. Mm -hmm. What what is appropriate for her to do there and when should she go? To go to the pyramid. Yeah. When she would be ready to channel the energy. and bring light. Now the awakening, to awaken all this place. Beautiful. What about her connection to dolphins and whales? They are her allies. Mm -hmm. They will help her open up mm -hmm. the wells mm -hmm. for the sound mm -hmm. and the dolphins for the heart. Mm -hmm. With flow. Now oneness. That's what she needs mm -hmm. to feel. Mm -hmm. She will soon meet them. Mm, wonderful. She keeps thinking of her dad and feels that he's going to be leaving the earth soon, possibly or possibly ascending first. What can she know about her father today? It's true. What is true? He will have to leave. Mm -hmm. Because he can't help much more here. Mm -hmm. But he will. And they will be connected from there. Mm -hmm. They always will be connected because she is strongly mm -hmm. connected with her. Mm -hmm. She needs to know it because she will have to help mm -hmm. her mom, mm -hmm. with, which also has a part mm -hmm. in the next step. Mm -hmm. She is awakening too, mm -hmm. but she has work to do on her. Mm. She's going to be helping her mother move through this after her father leaves? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we still have time. Yeah, good. She's wanting to know if she has a relationship, a life partner, a sacred partnership coming in her life. Yes. Share more with us. She waited long. She had to heal mm -hmm. a lot by herself. Mm -hmm. Not to be lost with him, in him, or in their relationship. Mm -hmm. Now as she's awakening, she won't be lost anymore in anybody. She won't lose her power. Mm, great. She mm -hmm. would have lost her power. Yeah. 
speaking of losing her power, um, she had some issues with alcohol in her lifetime. Is she beyond that now? Almost. Almost. What can we do today to help her? I'm cleansing. She needs to cleanse. Mm -hmm. Can you work with her liver as well and bring it up to speed? Yeah. It has to do with her fear, so mm -hmm. as I work on her fear mm -hmm. and activate her connection, mm -hmm. her third eye and her connection to the divine, to the source, mm -hmm. and to the hearth, mm -hmm. she won't need that anymore. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. What guides should she work with to open her medicine even more? What guides? Mm -hmm. What guides? Yeah. Her support, her team. Mm. Her grandfather, the trees, the old groves, mm -hmm. they are very powerful allies. Mm -hmm. The eagle and the ancient, she's connected mm -hmm. to the ancient one. Mm -hmm. She has ancient spirits with her. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Hawaii, Hawaii and Aboriginal mm -hmm. already before she met them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything that you want to share with us that we that we didn't get to touch upon today. Anything else that we should know? She's more powerful than she has any idea of. Mm -hmm. She needs to allow it mm -hmm. and receive. And not be scared of her power. Mm -hmm. That come from a past life. Mm -hmm. She's letting that go today. She's letting it go. Yes. Dissolving it completely. Can you show her images of maybe other lifetimes or this lifetime when she was in her full power, her full connection to Source? Atlantis. Mm -hmm. What was she doing in Atlantis? She was able to connect with everything. Mm -hmm. Let her feel the embodiment of her lifetime there so that she can feel her power. She felt very powerful there. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have any final messages for Adeline before we close today? She's ready. Mm -hmm. She's doing exactly what she needs to do. Mm -hmm. She needs to trust the finance as well. The money will come. She needs to trust the universe. It's mm -hmm. unfolding for her. Mm -hmm. And keep doing what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Maintain its that. Maintain. Now she is ready. She just has to maintain the energy mm -hmm. and maintain the connection. And follow the guidance. Beautiful. Do you have any final messages for me? Thank you for what you're doing. 
You are very powerful too. Mm, thank you. Can you show Adeline a lifetime where we were together? Atlantis. Mm -hmm. What were we doing together then? It was about the element. We were able to control the element. Mm -hmm. Everything was flowing. Mm. And we've come to do it again. Yes. Mm. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your work with us today. I'm very thankful for it. We look forward to working with you again in the future. Thank you. Yeah.